Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, this is just a quick update on my rainwater purification board. If you haven't watched the first video, you'll want to watch it first. That's a prerequisite to this video. Uh, but as you can see, uh, the shed now is painted. I still do not have a front for it. Um, in my next video, there will be a front on this shed. Uh, but I also shingled it and painted it. I think I already said that as well. Well, also, underneath the shed, I finished the back wall. The back wall wasn't there, nor was it painted. So I still have a few things left to do under here. Uh, one is to add the solar panel to the battery, so it will recharge itself. Um, currently, I have to charge the battery on with the battery charger every so often. I also did a few more things to the uh, filtration board. As you can see, there's a uh, large blue filter, an additional large blue filter. I also made one other change. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, but here on this large blue filter, uh, in the first video, there was only one, um, the ceramic filter. And that ceramic filter is still the last filter, this one here, this last blue filter. So the new blue filter is a 5 micron carbon filter. In my last video I mentioned that the uh, this Rusco spin down filter here is is about a 12 to 15 micron filter. Uh, so this next one is a 5 micron. Uh, so it will you know it will catch a little bit more dirt or particles or whatever may be in the water and it will allow all my filters to last longer and I'll have to clean them less often. Um, that's the pro of that. The con is I had to pay additional money for this filter and it requires additional time and addition this is the one filter I believe I cannot just reclean. I have to actually order more filters for it. I may not be correct on that. I have to do a little bit more checking and research but I believe um, I just have to buy a new filter for this one. You can see I also uh, just put a little screw in the wood there so I can have my handle for these big uh, the blue housing filters. One other thing that I did was uh, change the filter in this um, spin down filter. Uh, there was a hundred mesh. This is my first filter going into the system. Uh, the filter, the the pre filter for the pump. Well, I upgraded this to a 250 mesh. Uh, the second one was a 500 mesh, so it was. 100 here, 500 there in the middle, and then a 1000 mesh there at the end. So now it is a 250 mesh, a 500 mesh, then a 1000 mesh. Now that 1000 mesh is about 12 to 15 microns. Then it goes down to a 5 micron carbon filter. Then after that 5 micron carbon filter, in that last blue housing, is the ceramic filter. Uh, that is a 0 0.9 micron and then after that of course it was my UV light you'll have to check that out on the um, other video so my next video I have I'll have a uh, pressure tank a sink and I'll also have a front uh, on this shed here and I should have the solar panel as well but just wanted to give you a quick update of the system and uh, my progress so Hope you guys like it. Hope you can use it for some of your projects. Um, Y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching.